Step four in its ingenious original form is made a fearless and searching moral inventory of ourselves. I wrote it as, you know, made a list of all the fucked up shit you'd done or some other <laughs> foul colloquial reinterpretation. But what step four really is, is an opportunity to thoroughly stock take your previous behavior, your previous beliefs. Uh, one of the things that motivated me to undertake this process was like when I did step four, which I did, that took, it took me five years and two days to do step four, five years to not do it, two d days to do it, five years of pure avoidance, two days of endless writing and inventorying. When I eventually did it, it gave me clarity around my new perspective. Step one, two and three, even though we've spent a lot of time on them, there's a truncated version of one, two and three where you can do it just by nodding your head. Yeah, I've got a problem. Of course it could get better. All right, I'm willing to accept help. It could be done that quickly if you were willing and compliant and a simple person, probably not the kind of person who needs this as a matter of fact. Step four though, becomes incredibly involved and quite arduous. I resisted it. I'm not a person that uh, takes kindly to school or being told what to do, endeavor, homework. You know, I just don't do stuff like that. That's not how I'm wired. But when I actually did do it, it was one of the first times it became clear to me how vital it was that everybody has a program, that everyone should have access to these techniques. I thought, when are you ever gonna sit down and own the stuff that happened to you as a kid? People don't do it. People don't properly own or address the time where a parent or a friend or a stranger looked into your eyes and told you that you were scum, that you were fat, that you're not good enough. These traumas that we carry in the body, in the mind, that form us, are there silent phantoms forming who we are. The inventorying process, in a sense, demystifies them. It gives you the opportunity to put down on paper these unaddressed unconscious fears and beliefs. The program that previously runs your life can now be exposed and examined. It's one of the key moments where unconscious behavior and patterns transition to conscious behavior and patterns. <laughs>